Grandparents live in it. So when you're a child and you do something wrong to your grandparents, they used to say, You can't. Means no, don't do that. And of course, baka. It's not like baka. In Japanese, it's baka. Baka. No R sound. If you say that, it's idiot. It's a little bit different, but uh, yeah, if you say, You can't baka in Japanese, it sounds like it. Very interesting. Anyway, I'm working for this Ikambarker place. It should be only five minutes by walking. The road to the store should be tough, not easy. Let's go. Whoa. I like exploring and working around this kind of nature park, nature place, like hidden, spiritual, secret places. You know what? When I was a child, I was totally, completely countryside boy who likes collecting beach holes outside, going on Mangchan. This atmosphere makes me really calm down and I also get excited. So that's a coconut shell. In Japan, you don't get to see coconut, not alone. So every time I see coconut shells, wild bananas, I realize it makes me realize I'm not in Japan anymore. I'm in Malaysia and I'm happy for it. It's a 33 degrees in Kuala No wonder it's hot, freaking hot, scorching. And then look at this sauce. That should be it. Finally, we come back our place. Finally, I'm here. Savory me like Jalan Bellamy. Ah, may I get sotong? Sotong, No more. Yeah. Okay. Can I? Can I the shell? Nice. I like it. Kelan. One kelan. One kelan. One party, party. One party. party. Okay. Oh, that's Kelly. I don't know what Kelly is. So Kela, Kela, Kelly. Singlet. Singlet. Yeah. And then nasi, 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 nasi. Oh, this one looks really nice. Singlet. This, this one, this one. Okay. Okay. Curry. Okay. The rice. Okay. It's really nice. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of Malay food which is surrounded with banana leaves that makes it more attractive. I like it. This is a place where Ikambakao get together. Ikambakao street should be crowded with many people normally, but unfortunately due to pandemic, it's less people here and then most of the stores are closed. I mean, open for only takeouts. It's been almost 7 minutes or 10 minutes, but it's still getting grilled. She's calculating right now. I know, I'm not a good at 40, okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, there was no satan in stock anymore, but next time I'll come here again. Is there satan? Here? I really want satan. Do you guys have satan? Satan, satan. Satan? How many? How many? Just one. Just one. one only. But you have to wait eh, for a while. How much? How long do you have to wait? How long? Around 15 minutes. 50. 15. Okay, sure, sure. I'll be working.
Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, finally I got Satan for 16 ringgit. Not bad. Let's go home. Okay, we got Kelan Shao. This is my favorite. I tried it in Ramadan Bazaar. I like it so much. And Kelly, what's Kelly? I've never heard of this fish. And according to Google, it's a uh, it's like catfish, but uh, living in fresh water, and especially in South East Asian country, and in Slango in Malaysia, it's popular. Stingray, I've never eaten this before. And then Sotong, my favorite, all the time favorite, Nasi. It's pretty classic. Okay, let's start with Nasi, itadakimasu. Ari, <laughs> Ari. By the way, Ali means yes, but the Nasi in Japanese, it means no. So it's Ali, yes. Okay, okay. Itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's chewy in the mouth. Especially when you're Japanese and you take a look at this hashtag you're gonna die extra spicy chili sauce. You're really afraid for it, but uh, when you try. <laughs> when it comes to grilled fish, we Japanese love it. Especially mackerel, salmon, what else? I don't recall, but uh, yeah. For ingredients, we just put normally salt, soy sauce, and lime, something like it. I love this stingray. Oh my god, this is so good. Okay, let's go for sotong. I just cut it earlier in smaller pieces. Itadakimasu. <sighs> Perfect collaboration. Spicy satan, normal basic nasi, and a garlic flavored veggies. <laughs> this ikamba curl kind of close to Japanese taste, and you can just make bento, bento box, ikamba curl bento box, even that. So I bet a lot of Japanese, I mean, all of Japanese might like it. For kelan, since I'm still amateur, I don't know how to open this. So every time I eat this, I really struggle. Do you use fork or a knife or do you smash it somehow or with your mouth? I don't think it's safe to do it. Taste itself, perfect. It's easier when you use knife. Mm. Oh shit. The last one, Kelly. Whoa, it's easy. Kelly, itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, I got the bone, small bone. And basically, it's almost same with stingray. Ah, <sighs> oh, I'm really full. For a clung, I like it, but it's taking time to finish, so I'm just leaving it for dinner. And except for it, I finished them all. It's over. Can't really wait to eat this ikan barker outside after COVID and then I'm inviting my Japanese friend from Japan to Malaysia and then we're gonna have a super big party outside. Maybe you guys can join it as well if you'd like to next year, I guess. If you have to choose one, I would choose Perry. And I like Kelly as well, but in aspect of the bones, I prefer Perry. For Kelang, it's like snacks for me. For example, watching Netflix or talking to chit chatting with your friend, and that's the part now for it. Alright, that's it for my today's video. How was it? I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other recommendation for Ikan Burger or anything else, please tell me. Write a comment for me. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe button to share my channel if you like it. Thank you. Arigato terimakashi. And then also the situation is not really easy for you guys. I mean, it's really hard for each of us, but uh, at least I hope you guys enjoy the weekend. Stay healthy, stay safe, please. Okay, and I hope to see you guys later in the next video. Take care. Bye.